Happening, mi gente. Guys, I'm super excited to show you and present to you this beautiful Bosch 5 ton heat pump system. It's a 20 sear heat pump system. Guys, so it's super efficient. Guys, take a look at this beauty. She's actually working. We just finished installing this just yesterday. And let me tell you, she's doing her job. She's doing what she got to do. And guess what? Most importantly, they're cool, baby. They're cool like this son of a bitch right over here. And guys, I'm telling you, this is the wave. This is the future. So pay attention to detail, guys. When I say detail, meaning the pipes are straight, pipes are level. I mean, over here, we don't want to use that many elbows. So basically, we did like a kind of like a little sweep over here to go right into the unit. Um, it's kind of, kind of a little hard to see from that point of, from that view of the camera. But if you guys take a look quickly, I'm sure he could come over here and show you. But over here on this side, it's straight, it's level, it's bracing to the wall. So if somebody hits it, you know, it's secured. That's what we want. I mean, you never know. There shouldn't be anybody here, but you never know. Kids, children, dogs, cats, you just don't know. But guys, the secret or the secret sauce is actually in the system. So this um, system is super efficient. It's R454B, it's the new refrigerant. So it's the latest unit that just came out. Uh, what else? I mean, oh, it's a smart system too. So they actually have an app that connects to the system. But we went a different route. We actually connected a Bosch thermostat so it could do everything directly through the thermostat. It's just a little bit more practical. It makes more sense. They do have their own um, their own app that you could go over directly to Bosch. It's a separate. So they don't, even though it's Bosch, but the, the thermostat and the actual unit, they're a little separate. But I think it's easy friendly just doing it from the thermostat. They like it, they see it, and they do everything from the phone. So guys, listen, the technology is there. Use it. And not only that, this, this is a beauty and it's super efficient, the beauty is they're going to get even more efficiency because they just finished sealing the ducts. Guys, many times people always overlook that, especially technicians, contractors. It's not just this is the core, this is the heart. But think of your ducts as the arms and legs, right? The legs, you know, like, okay. So this is the, this is the core, this is the heart, the compressor. This is the brains, which is the air handler. But now we need the arms. So we cannot do anything without the arms, right? Think of it if you had zero arms, zero legs, right? You can't do shit. Well, the same thing happens in the HVAC system, guys. Listen, if it's not sealed correctly and they're losing all there, who wants to cool down the attic? Nobody hangs out in the attic. At least I don't. But guys, this is very important. So you guys just you guys can see all this attic, well, all this duct here in the attic. So guys, I want to show you a demonstration. So right here, we're using actually a duct sealing. Looks something like this, but I'm gonna show you the stuff we use. They call it mastic cement or they call it just duct seal. And basically what it is, is to cover up all the, the leaks, the crevices, the little cracks, the crannies, um, the seams, because usually they leak at the seams. So I everybody has a way of doing things. I have, I have my way of doing it. So I told the guys, listen, I want you to not only put all that duct sealant around the, the creases and also all the seams, but when it dries, and then we're gonna put aluminum tape so you grab and then we put another layer of actually duct sealing. So guys, basically it's kind of like a, like a, think of it like a pancake. You're pancaking it together. So, guys, so the ducts are just as important as much as the system is important as well. So I would tell you guys, whenever you're installing a new central AC system, always look at your ducts. Listen, many times I can't, I can't stress enough that I've gone to jobs. Oh, it's not hot enough. It's hot or it's not cool enough. And a lot of the problems is not the unit. The unit's performing. It's the ducts. It's in the attic or in the basement. So guys, make sure you make sure make sure that your ducts are sealed. Make sure that they're insulated correctly. And hey, listen, if you got let them know, it's better be transparent because let me tell you, if they're suffering in the pockets and they're suffering because it's too hot or too uh, i mean it's not enough um cooling no i'm not heating they're they're, they're 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 cold or they're hot chances are it's in the duck guys all right so stay tuned because guys listen i'm excited to what's coming because we have so much more to come so much more to go so many so many more things to do so guys stay tuned Weppa! all right guys we just finished wrapping up this installation we just finished installing a heat pump system from bosch you guys can see it's the air handler so guys Listen, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass because it's a little tiny here, but the job got done and they're getting some air conditioning, baby. They're feeling cool this summer. So, I always tell everybody, guys, this first of all is supposed to be level at all times because the drain pan, 
it's already pitched downwards. However, I personally like to pitch it down just a little bit, just to reassure or reassurance, just that knowing that the drain pan is inside here, your primary drain pan. So if it was back pitch, we don't want that. But if it's pitched a little bit downwards, guess what? It's gonna come out from here into your P-trap, into your condensation line, and right outside. So guys, you wanna make sure to pay attention to detail because those little details will cover your ass and save you from a lot of callbacks and headaches. You have any problems? You know the call. The H-Fat Boppy, 516 5200 Whip Me hey, it's who is born a man, and it's time to keep your whole cool. Whip Five one six three seven seven five two zero zero and Louis, who you mentioned, Weber.